The Australian ambassador to the Lao PDR, John Williams, offers his keynote address to mark the Australia Day, which falls on the 26th of January. The ambassador said an increasingly integrated regional and global economy will bring new opportunities for the Lao PDR. Sabai so, I'm delighted to speak to you again on the occasion of Australia's National Day. Australians celebrate the achievements and values of our young country on the 26th of January each year, the date of the arrival in Sydney, now Australia's largest city, of the first fleet of European convict settlers back in 1788. According to the Ambassador John Williams, Australia today is a very different country from any other, a country of striking landscapes and spectacular natural environment, blessed with 19 World Heritage listed sites. Australia is a country with a rich ancient culture dating back 60,000 years. Yet today is one of the world's strongest economies with a highly educated workforce and extensive services sector. More than 300 different languages are spoken in Australian homes. Ambassador Williams said adding that Australia's new Colombo plan which under young Australian students have an opportunity to work and study in the region is a major investment in Australia's long-term engagement with the Asia Pacific. Fifty students from four Australian universities will complete new Colombo plan placements in the Lao PDR this year a similar number to 2015. I was delighted to be able to participate in the celebrations of December to mark the 40th birthday of the Lao PDR. Looking back at your country's achievements over the past four decades, I believe the Lao people have much to be proud of. I wish the new leadership that has emerged from this month's party congress every success in steering the country through the challenges that lie ahead. According to him, an increasingly integrated regional and global economy will bring new opportunities for the Lao PDR. 2016 also presents the Lao PDR with the opportunity to once again share ASEAN. We are confident the Lao PDR will preside over another successful year for ASEAN as you begin to turn the concept of ASEAN community into a reality. Australia has been delighted to have helped support the Lao government's preparations for its year as ASEAN Chair through a number of programs. And we look forward to visits this year to the Lao PDR by Australia's Foreign Minister in July and Trade Minister in August, and a visit by our Prime Minister for September's East Asia Summit, the EAS, which is emerging as a critical forum for ASEAN and the broader Asia-Pacific region in addressing priority issues at leaders' level. 2017 also promises to be a milestone year, another milestone year, in Australia-Lao relations, when we will celebrate the 65th anniversary of bilateral relations. Australia is proud to represent Laos's longest unbroken diplomatic partner at ambassador level. The ambassador said adding that the focus of Australia's aid program on education and training reflects Australia's long-standing expertise and partnership with Laos. It also reflects the importance of education for the Lao PDR's long-term prospects. Improved education outcomes will be vital if Laos is to fulfill its ambition of graduating from least developed country status and be able to compete in an increasingly integrated labor market in Southeast Asia. This country has a great demographic dividend with half the Lao population under 25. Australia is focused on raising education standards and addressing barriers to participation in school, particularly for rural Lao girls, currently the first to be left behind. Australia's basic education program, with substantial funding too from the EU, will train over 500 new ethnic teachers, particularly women from remote rural villages. We want these young teachers, young women, to become influential and respected voices in their communities on important issues like basic hygiene and sanitation. I'm delighted to be celebrating my third Australia Day as our ambassador to the Lao PDR. I've welcomed the opportunity over the past two years to see more of this diverse and incredibly scenic country. 
I promise you that for the remainder of my term here in Vientiane, I'll continue to strive to, stre to strengthen Australia's ties with the Lao PDR across many fields as friends and partners in an increasingly dynamic region. Please turn into all the Embassy's news and activities on On Australia in Laos Facebook account and enjoy all the news, current affairs, drama, comedy, sport and on English language programs on the Australia Plus television channel, now back on Lao Cable TV. Thank you and good luck. Sabai so,